<laughs> Take ten. There we go. Take ten. Are we ready? Uh, well, Chris, uh, terrible weather conditions here today. How has that affected training this morning ahead of what is a huge game this weekend? Well, we're all used to it and we love it. So, uh, yeah, we were all right because we were, I think we started training this morning about half seven. So we just missed it all. So, yeah, it's getting... Uh, it's not getting great, but um, we've 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 done our prep. We've had a long week, obviously, off the back of uh, a really disappointing afternoon uh, against Aston Villa. Uh, but what we've wanted to get out of the week so far, we've got out of it from a manager's point of view and a coach's point of view. You talk about the performance against Villa. You have in other games, even when results haven't gone your way, you, you've maybe been pleased with the performance at least. In terms of where it went wrong against Villa, what have you said to the players? Have you had to have strong words with them or, you know, pick them up, lift them up this no, week? I, you know, all accusations are flying around and I said it after the game, you know, um, the, and the narrative will be they didn't try, they didn't work hard, they didn't want to compete, they didn't care. I, 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 I've been in that position before. I don't believe that's the case, but I understand the narrative out there being that. Um, we didn't see it coming. Um, that doesn't mean that the, the preparation wasn't right. It's possibly, in, in a perverse sort of way, we, we felt our preparation was as good as, as, as what it's been going into arguably a really difficult game and we re really fancied it. Um, <clears throat> and then things happen that we look at from our point of view, um, that we make some, some really poor decisions uh, without the ball, really. Uh, that opens it up and get punished. And uh, and this is what can happen in the Premier League. We all understand that. So then it becomes a really difficult afternoon, especially the manner of the goals and how quickly they go in. Uh, no hiding place out there. We have to get through it. Uh, I made a decision to to try to shut up shop um, uh, as, as a manager. So I have to take that res that responsibility and that criticism if that, that comes. And I just think as well, especially in the Premier League, when... And, and, and you're right, we have been at it and we've we've made every game competitive. We've not got the results that we believe we should have got in, in some some games, some certain games. Um, but when you're not at it and when the opposition are at it, as Villa showed on the night, the the gap becomes enormous. And they showed their quality um, and, and, and we were way off of it. And it was, it was obviously um, a really disappointing afternoon for everybody concerned. And most importantly, from the supporters' point of view. Given where that uh, result leaves you in the table now and the gap there is to, to safety, does Saturday become a, a must-win game? Well, we, you know, we, we've, we've talked about this right the way through, you know, and uh, of course, as you imagine, people do do look at the, the look look at the table. We've tried not to. We've tried to just focus on the next game, and the next game obviously is is, is the one um, that we've got to approach on on, on Saturday against the, against an informed team that are doing fabulously well. So the narrative will be um, how well they're doing um, as a promoted side and how poor we are at the moment. So we understand that and we've got to accept it. Why do you think they are doing so well? What is it about what Rob Edwards is doing there and, and the way they're, they're playing at the moment, the goals they're scoring? Yeah, I mean, the, the, they've got, got on a roll and confidence is a huge thing and they've got, got some results. You know, they got a result against us. Um, it, was a, it was a tight afternoon and that afternoon could have gone either way in my opinion um, and, and small margins and that quite easily from my point of view that could have been us on a roll you know seeing out the game at Villa and turning a tight game against Luton into into a home win and automatically you're sticking sort of five points onto your total and the belief and confidence that those results give the players and gives everybody around the around the place you know you can you can build on, and they've certainly built on that. And um, you know they're not they're not ninth, they're not eighth or seventh or sixth. They're still they're still you know in and around it. Yeah, they have got more points than us, and and that, you know and this is not be me being negative towards them because I think anybody who have listened to to uh, uh, to my words and my views and thought process on Luton Town, they've been absolutely extremely positive, and I think. Everybody at that football club's done an outstanding job right the way back from the conference days and Gary Sweet and Mick Harford right the way through Nathan Jones's period and, 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 and Rob's a smart guy and he's done a, done a great job in carrying that forward. And they've got momentum, uh, they've got belief, they've got confidence so that will make them uh, a team that's expected to win on Saturday. Can that be the, the, you know, can it be one game that just turns it around from you, as you say, building that momentum if you do get 
a result on Saturday, could that be the the, the turning point? Yeah, I, I've I've said all along, not no downside to winning the game in football, but it's 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 all right me saying it. We've got to do a lot of things right, and we've got to do a lot of things better than what we did. We did on Saturday afternoon defensively. You know, we were you know we were we were open. We we didn't get um, the fundamental aspects of defending right. Um, I've got to say as well, off the back of that. You know, there was some incredible movement, passes and finishes from, from Aston Villa, which you would expect in the Premier League, um, maybe. Um, outside that division, they don't find that pass or they don't find that finish, but they do in the Premier League. And quickly, as we said, the game gets taken away from you. Um, and there's no getting back into it. You know, there's no fairy tale. There's no... Um, escape to victory or, or whatever it is where you know we're all sat in the change room at half time 4 nil down and we can we, we think we can win this 5-4 five, five, when a team is such in control as they were and playing fl- free flowing confident football um, and we're obviously up against it so but you're looking for that result re- re- looking for that result that gets you up and running and, um, and we believe that we can get that result on Saturday Other people are, are writing you off Will you give up hope while there's still a, a possibility? No, I never get, never give up hope, and even if even if the, the league table says that so it's done and dusted, there's always something to play for, in my opinion. So game by game, yeah, you know, I think you come to you 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 come to accept it, and you have to accept it in the position that that we're in, that there's going to be an opinion on you, and you have to you have to take that on the chin because there's no hiding place. It's the Premier League. It's it's streamed. It's 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 broadcast worldwide, um, and and everything that goes with it that everybody enjoys. We all enjoy being part of it. Um, the downside of it is that when you're not doing as well as you want to do, um, then you have to receive that criticism, which we will receive and I will receive that fully, and um, and hope to turn that uh, into into a positive going forward. Just elsewhere, something that not everyone enjoys with the Premier League, VAR. Um, the, the Premier League have, have done a report, done some research into it, a, a survey, and they say that um, it's improving in terms of the incorrect decisions, but there were 20 decisions that have been wrong so far this season. A lot of that is the failure to go to, to VAR when they should have done. They also say it's taking too long to make decisions, what do you think? Where do you want to see improvements? Well, I think we're all uh, we're all in the same um, boat in terms of um, the length of decisions that are being are being made, and, and and everybody wants them to be to quickened up and, um, and 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 tidied up. And I think you know I'm not going to go too much into. It. I think I've got too much on the plate to start worrying about the sort of overall bigger 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 things or stuff that we can't we can't deal with but as an opinion you know we all want it to be better improve and I think we've all been we've all been pro VAR we've been you know anti VAR you know uh, pro VAR when the results are right in your favour and anti when they when they go against you I think ultimately as a football manager football person you just want it to be a little bit more quicker in decisions made and a little bit better in terms of the the overall outcome great thanks Chris thank you cheers Hi Chris is there a sense where you kind of have to forget about what's happened and say we've got a 15 game season let's get as many points on the board as we can and see where that sort of takes us come May I think you, you, you can't even do that you've got to go into the next game you've got to park everything that happens, uh, happens before pretty quickly and that doesn't mean you can gloss over it or forget it and there's certainly been a reflection this week on on our performance on 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 Saturday afternoon, and we have to and we have to address it. We have to own it. I have to own it as a manager in terms of the, in terms of the team picked, um, and uh, and and from the tactical side of it, and we have to own it as a as a group that it was a really poor afternoon and we let ourselves down and 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 we let the supporters down. So um, you can't you can't go away from it, but you you can't you know you have to have that, and and that, I should imagine because. The, the players are an honest group that it will be and it has hurt and I've seen it in the rise I've seen it in the reaction I've seen it in the reaction this week personally it was uh, it was uh, one that really was was tough to take because we didn't see it coming as we talked about but then you've got to move forward pretty quickly because there's no time um, um, and one of the things that we have to we have to look at is that this group is a, is a, is, is a new group put together um, it's a young group 
if you looked at that average age, I would I would say over sort of the last six or seven years, ever since I've been here, uh, for the majority of that, that's arguably one of the youngest uh, teams that I've picked, and and possibly from Premier League experience or general overall experience, possibly um, one of the least experienced sides I've I've picked. So with that, you open. Um, sort of the freshness and uh, and the naiveness in 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 a way, and uh, that coming out and the ambition in those sort of young players comes out. But when it goes against you, when you're four nil down after after half an hour, um, there isn't a lot that the players can lean on in terms of looking to the left or looking to the right. So they have to get through it. So we have to. We have to we have to look at it, own it, reflect it, uh, and then move on. And because of the time, there's no the you know you have to keep it inside in a way, but you have to be positive. And and what we have and what we have tried to do is affect that that belief and that confidence levels ever since we walked through the door. I've got to say personally, I think we we have done that um, uh, in 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 the manner manner of the majority of games. And obviously, when things like that happen to you Saturday night, for for everybody, experienced managers over a thousand games, or young players that are playing in their first time in the Premier League, you know, it's difficult to take. But one that we 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 will we'll use going forward for that young squad, it's a huge learning process, this isn't it? And whatever happens, they'll come out the other side of that a lot better for it, won't they? We will do as a as a club overall, you know, um, and 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 I get the, the 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 negative feel and the narrative around the place at the moment. Of course, I do, because people want to see your team win. You want to see your team play well, whatever level it is. Um, and you know, at the moment, the, the 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 team's in a poor position from a league point of view. We're having these 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 uh, performances, um, not every week, but you know, um, uh, time by time. These performances come up because you're not at it, they're at it. They find the pass, they take every chance that's on offer. The scoreline is the scoreline. Um, so these things do happen, but the club the club will move forward and, and, and grow and it won't die off, one, off the back of one result. Uh, and the players, you know, will have to take the pain and suffering of, of what happens there. And as I said, no hiding place and come through that and use that experience um, and they'll be better for it. So... Yeah, it is tough at the moment, tough for everybody. Um, but like I said, through uh, through these experiences, that, that uh, everybody will will learn and get better through it. Of course, Luton coming up. Is there a sense of owing them one after Boxing Day? Because that I was at that game. You kind of you really deserve to win that game, and you kind of threw it away at the end. Is it you know a sense of Let's go down there and show what we should have done that day. Well, we've got to be clinical. You know, you can't afford to chuck points away, and we've certainly done that in that in that uh, space of about four or five five days at Villa. You know, we should have come out with a win. Um, I'm not saying that you know we would have deserved it on the overall play, but when you get into that last sixty seconds of a game in the manner of the goal, you know, it's not their good play; it's our undoing. Uh, and our poor play, um, and 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 obviously the Luton Town game. You know we go one nil down at home, um, and uh, we get ourselves off the canvas um, and uh, get ourselves in front and two own goals. So not I wouldn't say it's revenge. I wouldn't say it's owing one. We want to go go there, play well, have a good shape, regarding us uh, in in and out of possession. I think the, the good thing about it is the players know what they're going into. They know the opponents, they know the players because they've played against the majority of them, you know, over the last couple of seasons in the championship. Um, and and we know what environment we're going into, I certainly do. Um, and we, we've got to play well and we've got to be clinical and we've got to make sure that we don't open it up for, for teams like we did on Saturday against Villa. And when teams do open it up or do make mistakes, we've got to punish them in the, in the way that we're getting punished at this particular time. I just want to highlight Ben Brereton Diaz. How much has he brought to the group? And he's been such a, a positive energy within your team since he's arrived, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been a super signing for us. You know, um, we, we feel all three uh, once they get bedded in and um, and get get moving, uh, as Ben has done, will be positive signings for us. Mason will be, and 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 uh, Ivor will be. It's obviously a difficult debut for for, for Mason and and Ivor. 
you know, came out of a of a collision on the on the wrong side and has to serve his, his, his twelve days through concussion requirements and laws. But Ben's been fabulous to work with off the pitch, fabulous on the training ground, and he's delivered assist uh, goals and performances. So you know, from a from a manager's point of view. It was a great signing for us, and hopefully um, he can he can he can kick on and and, and keep um, keep producing those performances. Just finally from me, is has Evo served his time? Is he available, or is it still too soon for Luton? No, he misses out by one day, so it seems that's the way things are going at the moment. But we have to we have to deal with that, and um, and and uh, it's a miss for us, of course. But um, you know, whoever plays in goal will um, will uh, will come in and do a good job for us. No, we've got some bumps and bruises, and um, but we've, um, you know, hopefully we'll, um, we'll, we'll, you know, record injury record has been pretty decent recently, so um, we'll assess and um, we'll be positive. Whatever, whatever group we are, we we we, t- we take down the road. They'll have enough experience, quality, uh, ambition, um, and togetherness to to uh, to be competitive and hopefully get a result.